I know I'm short, but this is ridiculous. Now what they've done, they've miniature sized me so I can go down and I'm standing on this dashboard because I want to illustrate something to you that you probably have never thought of and you never heard before. But you know, every one of us have a dashboard in life. You got it. God has given this dashboard in life to pay attention to. But I'm going to have to jump down there by the gauges to really illustrate what I'm trying to talk to you about because this is real important. So let me, let me jump down first. I'll, I'll tell you all about it. Whoa, man, that was a trip. Well, now that I'm down here, I can illustrate to you about all these gauges because God has given us gauges in our lives to pay attention to. See, when you turn on a car, you have all these different gauges that go on. And if you don't pay attention to these gauges, I'm here to tell you, and you know, it doesn't take a, a, a rocket scientist to tell you, your car is going to break down sooner or later. Sort of like these gauges over here. God has given us a similar gauge like this theft gauge. Well, this theft gauge tells us that, well, alarm's going to go off. And it tells me that that alarm system's working if that gauge is working properly. And that alarm's going to go off if somebody gets in my car. Well, God's saying, I've given you the same kind of gauge. Flee temptation. I don't want Satan getting close to your life, getting your marriage and your family. And I want that alarm to go off, but you've got to pay attention to it. Because if you're not paying attention to it, he'll de Satan will destroy what God has blessed. That gas gauge, a lot of husbands don't pay attention to that gas gauge down there. Because a lot of wives are saying, you know what? My, my life and my marriage feels like it's only a quarter full. Well, God wants it, husband. He wants it totally full because that is makings of a good marriage. Well, and even in our family life, our battery gauge goes off sometimes and we just need a recharge. We need to get back on track with our family and our children. A lot of times the wife says, you know what, husband, I want to go this way. And then the husband says, but you know what? I want to go this way. Well, we got to work things together, but we have to pay attention to these gauges that God has given us in life. Because you know what? God doesn't want to dominate our lives. He wants to bless our lives. But if we're not paying attention to these gauges, then guess what? Your life is going to break down. Your marriage, your family, everything that God wants to do to bring success it's going to break down because you're not paying attention to those gauges. So today we're going to talk about the dashboard in our lives. We're going to talk about the uh, gauges in our lives as we continue to explore life is a highway. I was packing for my business trip and my three-year-old daughter was having a wonderful time playing on the bed. At one point she said, Daddy, look at this and stuck out her two fingers. Trying to keep her entertained, I reached out and stuck her two fingers and put them in my mouth, and, and I, I said, Daddy's going to eat your fingers, pretending to eat them. I went back to packing, looked up again, and my daughter was standing on the bed, staring at her two fingers with, uh, with a devastated look on her face. And I said, what's wrong, honey? She replied, what happened to my booger? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Beware. Do not put your little girl's or little son's fingers in your mouth. 